Welcome back to guns.com. My name is Taylor and today we have a review for you on ear protection. Now, when we first got together and decided to do a review on ear protection, it was kind of like, what do we do? Because there is a very wide variety of options that are out there. So what I did is I chose five ranging between $14 to 400, tried them all out in an, a really big event in Colorado so that I could give you the best advice on which ones to pick. <music> Let's talk about the $14 pair. So these are the Surefire EP3 Sonic Defenders. That is a really long name for a set of earplugs, but these babies are actually pretty darn sweet. So what you see right here is a very basic earplug. What's they're really great because it's an upgrade over foamies, right? So foamies are disposable. You use them once and it's done. These are earplugs that you are going to use over and over again. What's really cool and different about these is that they actually have this plastic flanging in here. So that flanging will go into your earlobe and it helps to support it which is really useful if you are doing something with like, let's say a shotgun that has a lot of recoil. So you have your head down on it and it's moving quite a bit. If you're doing a lot of running, this is gonna help it keep it in place. So I actually ran this in a competition and I found that they stay in place really well. The other neat thing about them too, is that they do have these little tiny ports on the end. So this will allow for more sound to come through. So you could either open them or close them depending on what kind of sound level that you want. And as weird as it sounds, I actually really enjoy the little plastic carrying case that was coming with them. So I also wore these at an event where constantly you're taking your ear pro in and out. And so this little cord, I would wrap around my pants and easily I could pop the plugs into this case and remove them from. So overall with shooting, I did use this with calibers up to 556. Five, Anything over that, I started to want to double plug where you put another set of muffs over them, but anything at that point or under, these worked very well. They do have a 24 decibel reduction rating and that is gonna be, I'm gonna say the industry standard. So for 14 bucks, they are comfortable, they work well. You do have an option in terms of if you want a little bit more sound, or less sound and you get a case. So can't really go wrong there. The Safari Land Impulse Kit. This is a good kit for someone who just needs something to get to the range. You have a set of earplugs, earmuffs, and eye protection that comes with the kit. Now, let's talk about the actual performance. Starting with the muffs, these are definitely entry level. Now, what I mean by that is the overall design quality. What we have here in the headband is pretty thin padding over wearing these even for a couple of hours I felt the hard plastic band pushing into the top of my head and it became uncomfortable the padding is not sewn in it just moves around right the other thing as well in terms of the actual cup itself is these are pretty hard which means that they don't seal as well as some of the other cups that are on the market and muffs that you'll see this can be upgraded with a pair of gel cups. That'll help long ways for sure. However, I don't know that it would be a worthwhile investment on a set of earmuffs like this. This is really something for someone who just needs a set of earplugs, muffs, and eyes to get to the range. Outside of that, I would not say that these are a long-term uh, pair of muffs that you would wanna keep in your repertoire as your go-to pair right? And that's because of comfort and in terms of sound muffling. Now, sound muffling was pretty decent, but again, you didn't have 100% ceiling from this. Maybe it was my head size or shape, but that is my personal opinion. Now, in terms of the plugs, these are an upgrade over foamies because, well, you do have the rubber strap and you have a port in the end that allows for either more sound to come in or you could block it off. Now, notice this end. That is because I was playing around with the ports and the little hard plastic piece right here came flying off. I don't know where it is. So in terms of durability, let's just say questionable. <laughs> but they work and if you need a good kit, basic kit to get to the range, this could be the set for you. The Howard Light Impact Sports. This has literally got to be one of the most common ear protection that you are going to see out there. I wore these at an event and it was not uncommon to see others wearing them as well. So I had to give them a try. What's all the buzz about? Well, for one, they are fairly inexpensive for a set of electronic earmuffs. They're about $70 and for that price, you're getting something with pretty decent audio 
you get a lot of battery life. So you get 350 hours worth of battery life out of these babies. There is an auxiliary port here on the side. And to be honest, they're comfortable and the ergonomics are pretty good. When you put these on, there's just a simple roller button, right? That you use to turn them on and off and you could increase or decrease the volume. Now I've worn other earmuffs before that require hitting of random buttons on different sides. The ergonomics are just not as solid. These are pretty solid. In terms of comfort over wearing these for the course of a day, personally, I am not an earmuff person. I find that they put a lot of pressure on your head, but for earmuffs, these were pretty good. The padding in here, it's decent. Uh, it works pretty well. And then the other thing too is that everything is sewn in very nicely. These are rugged. I threw these. They got dropped. They got stepped on. They went through the rain. They're just freaking durable. So overall, if you're looking for a good beginner set of muffs, yeah, try out the Howard Lights because apparently everyone else has and it's for a reason. This is the standard right here. <laughs> The Walker Rope Hearing Enhancers. These are a really great set of electronic hearing protection for an inexpensive price. The nice thing about them is that you have the earbuds and those are connected by a thin rubber rope. That helps with two things. One, comfort, because you could easily take them off and place them around your shoulder. And the other thing is not losing them. But, ha, huh, joke's on me. I lost these after about a half a day of wearing them. <clears throat> and the reason for that being was because I had them around my shoulder. They're super lightweight and they just fell off. The other thing is that they are also flat, dark earth and black colored. That's the same exact color as the gun range. So made it kind of impossible to find. But I will say during the time that I wore them, I noticed that they definitely reduce the sound the most out of any of the other hair protection that I tried on. At 29 decibel reduction, that is by far the largest amount of decibel reduction that you'll have of your protection on our list. The other thing about them as well is that you do have two different compression modes of high and low in terms of how much sound input that you are getting from the earplugs. You do also get 15 hours of battery life out of them. You could recharge them. They come with a case. There's different earplug sizes. So there's a lot of really great stuff going on with this. Because of the price and all of the options that these ear protection offer, you see them quite a bit on the range. Fortunately, I got to ask a lot of people who had been wearing these for years what they thought about it. And overall, I will say that the consensus was pretty good. There were some people that said that the audio quality isn't always the absolute best, but it's plenty enough to get you through whatever you need at the range. And in terms of the battery life, it really does hold true, which is always great to hear because sometimes you get something with battery life works right for a little bit and then it goes right downhill but these they seem to be pretty consistent overall i would say this is definitely a set to try out do be a little bit careful if you wear them around your shoulders not lose them like i do but otherwise i think it'll be pretty good peltor lep 200s this is the 400 hundred dollar pair of earplugs that we reviewed now i won't lie I have been wanting to try a set of these for years, literally for years. I have wanted to try them out, but could not justify the price. Now let's talk about that. Are they worth it? I am going to say if you are someone who spends a substantial amount of time at the gun range, yes, they are worth it. Because one thing when it comes to actual ear plugs that is really big is audio quality. The audio quality on these are quite incredible. I could hear people talking or perhaps even whispering from across the range and it was crystal clear. That is fantastic. They do hook up to Bluetooth. The Bluetooth quality is superb. One problem that I have had with earplugs in the past is that when you hook up to Bluetooth and you get too far away, they the sound will start to disconnect. Sometimes you get warning signals. It just becomes a huge issue. Now, the reason why that's an issue is because if you are connected to your phone and you go down the range and you're shooting, for me, that would be competing in a competition, and your phone is down there and all of a sudden you have all sorts of crazy noise going on in your ear, it's a really big distraction. So that is not an issue with these particular ones. The other thing as well uh, that you have with these is one battery life. So the battery life will last 16 hours. That is gonna more than get you through a day's worth of shooting. And you could come back and you put it into this charging case. Now, 
I know this sounds silly, but one of my most favorite features is 100% this charging case. The reason for that being is you can charge it with either a micro USB or a set of batteries, okay? What's the importance of the batteries? Well, I don't know about you, but the big thing for me is when the case dies, typically it's when I don't have a power bank nearby because I'm at the range. With these, you have the batteries as a backup pair so that you always know that your ears are getting charged. And when you're in a place with a power bank or a power source where you can plug in the micro USB, you have that option as well. Now, in terms of actual performance, I felt very confident. Now, the decibel rating on this is 23. That is okay, right? It's about the industry standard. It's not over the top in terms of how good it is, but I will say in terms of wearing it and using it, I felt very, very confident in the noise reduction of the Peltors. I did shoot the 50 BMG with these same exact set of earplugs and they did a really good job. I didn't have ear ringing, didn't have any issue. So overall, I would say that these are gonna get you through about anything. There is really just some really great features. Now, in terms of what comes with these earplugs, you get four plug options. That is small, medium, large, and a set of foamies. So that's pretty cool. You also get 15 wind protectors, which are like these little foam things that you could arrange inside of them to help with audio quality just that much more. I didn't use those. That's something I haven't used before, but if you're into it, you can definitely do that as well. And it also comes with a retention cord to connect them, the charging case, um, and just really a whole bunch of really cool stuff, which rightfully you should get for $400. But again, if you spend a lot of time in the range, uh, yeah, I can confirm they're worth it. Thank you so much for watching this review on ear protection. Definitely let us know what you thought about it. Please leave a comment, subscribe. My name is Taylor with guns.com and I can't wait to review the next products with you.